Everybody's looking. Are they going to get me to look? I can't. I can get way up to the left. like for you to see your uncle surprise you? It was amazing. When he came home, I was surprised. Were you expecting this? No. Not at all. <laughs> How close are you with your uncle? Uh, I'm pretty close with him. I haven't seen him in a long time. So I heard you've been riding him. How often do you reach out to him? A lot. I've been sending him a lot of stuff since he's been in Korea so long. So, it's, it's, I was really surprised when he was coming home. Are you going to hate to see when he finally leaves again? What are y'all going to try and do with, since he's here? We're going to throw him a, a party. Well, she's been sending letters through my sister and pictures to him, to Korea, for the last year. And she talks about him all the time. She loves the fact that he's serving for the country. So me and my sister thought it would be a really neat idea. She loves softball to bring him out here and kind of surprise her. And, you know, when you finally made it happen today, like, what was your reaction to see her expression? I was shaken. <laughs> I knew she was just going to die from happiness. And what was it like for you to be out here and plan this big surprise? Uh, it's, it would definitely be the same if I was in her shoes. It would, it would surprise me too and make me tear up. So I'm glad we actually accomplished it and uh, hopefully she wins the game now. I want to see that. <laughs> 
tries to replay. <laughs> Surprise! We've all known about it. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I even talked to you on why, the phone. Do you see why I wanted to go paint so bad? <laughs> oh yeah, she's God. like, why are y'all going to paint? Why can't y'all do it another day? And I'm like, well, I can't that. do it another day. Now do you know why I've been Go looking at cars? <laughs> yes, we are. Well, come on in where it's warm. Okay, we gotta get some. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at me. I'm a mess. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll be sleeping at the airport. Yeah. Need your book bag? <laughs> right, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Free list only next.
Go bring her outside. Tell her something's wrong. year comes awards, certificates, and medals, but for one Hardin County fifth grader, she only wanted one thing, a memory that will last a lifetime. WLKY's Colin Mayfield shows us her graduation surprise. Grace Reyes, it was a fifth grade graduation that she'll always remember because of a promise made by a father a year ago. Would that person please come forward? <laughs> 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 Major Julian Reyes was stationed overseas, but he promised his daughter he would be back, no matter what. My command released me early, actually, so I'd be able to uh, come in and make it and don't have to come back to Korea. As certificates of completion were passed out to her peers, Grace was called last. Unaware of her father's presence, there was a bit of confusion for Grace as the surprise played out. I was like... I, I didn't know what they were doing. But then, a sight she hadn't seen in more than 365 days. I'm happy. I missed him and I love him. And the emotion was felt all over the room. <laughs> Later, Grace told us why it's so emotional having her dad gone thousands of miles away and the challenges it presents. It's hard and it's hard to be without him. And it's. It's hard to go through school. I made it. I, that's probably basically why she wants to, you know, tell her that I made, I made the promise that I, I made Rose, here, would you I made the promise. Rose, would you please stand? And while the family gets as much time with Julian as they can, he tells us he will be deployed back to Afghanistan next November. From Hardin County, I'm Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. And Grace also received awards to recognize her attendance and her good academic standing. <laughs>
spend a, a, away from me and stuff like that. I missed one birthday apiece, which ended up being all fair. So <laughs> this is this is my second major one. So I deployed to Iraq in 04, 05. The first one was much worse. We didn't have a lot of contact with them. And, mm -hmm. But this is the first one with the kids. Yeah, this first one. Yeah. Oh. So we just we've been such a big part of this school over the uh -huh. last few years and all three of our girls being at the same school now, which has um, been a great, th great thing for them and our family. And well, and Tammy Clark, the librarian, she's been really good about organizing the kids, oh, super like two good. or three times a year to um, write all the soldiers' letters, and then mm. they sent over Christmas crafts. We got so a they did huge a craft Christmas here, box with yeah. Christmas tree and decorations, <laughs> and, you know, so it was, it was cool. Raise your hand. How many of you guys have had people that have served in the military? That you know. Look around at us. We have a lot of us that have people that have served. Nice job. Okay, hands down. So I'm going to read you this story that I bought. Um, it's called Hero Dad. And it says, My dad is a superhero. He doesn't wear a cloak that makes him invisible, but he wears camouflage. Sometimes he goes away for long trips. Because that's what superheroes have to do. My dad is an American soldier. My dad is a hero. He is my superhero. And we have somebody special here that we want to welcome home from Afghanistan. Sergeant McCreary. And I think there's somebody here that might want to see him. Come on up, guys. Definitely emotional. You know, so um, I haven't got to see them for a whole year, so. Um, but it, very joyful, very joyful, very thankful. So. Just yeah, it was joyful. I definitely <laughs> agree with that. I was so happy to see the girls reunite with their dad um, after so long, and um, to see the big smiles and the hugs. Yeah. And to know that we actually surprised them. We pulled it off. Yeah. <laughs> Too many times I thought they might be on to me. 